This video is sponsored by LD Player, however, we won't be spending too much time in the game itself because this is going to be a re-rolling video. It's going to be a lot of charts, a lot of discussion, a lot of theory crafting, and some level of team building. However, they're still going to get the views, so please don't be mad with me, guys. Hi, welcome back to another Revive Witch video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about re-rolling very briefly, as well as some of the early game compositions you can take. And so I will introduce you guys to a couple of the different tier lists. However, I will also give my thoughts as a CBT player that was able to clear the majority of the content. But with that being said, I think that my mindset is a little bit skewed towards a particular character. You guys will see why very, very soon. As always, all resources discussed in this video will be down in the description below but with that being said let's just jump into the video and so over here we have revived witch by Clowen Lansfield I'm so sorry I keep butchering your name but for those of you who do play alchemy stars you guys will recognize that he maintains a database for that one as well and so as you guys can see he has published a pretty clean tier list in terms of reroll but not only that this is for a lot of the different UR units and so guys just to be clear the highest rarity is UR which stands for ultra rare this is denoted by like your primo gems looking border very rainbowy, very mystic-y. And then after that, we've got SSRs, which are these gold ones over here. And then a whole bunch of the other ones, like the blues and the, uh, I thought they were reds, but I guess I was wrong. Right, sorry, it was purple actually. All right, and so with that out of the way, let's talk about the reroll process itself first. And so let me introduce you guys to the reroll system of Revived Witch. And so this is what we refer to as the 100 reroll chances kind of thing. And so those of you who have played these kinds of games like Epic Seven, Counter Side, where they do offer a lot of rerolls. You guys will be very, very familiar with this. However, with this one, it is up to a hundred chances. And so with that being said, let's hop back over to the Clone Lansfield tier list. And so as you can see, we have it ordered by S to A to B, whatever, and then the class up here. So we've got a couple of different classes. We've got like destroyer, we've got tanks, we've got healers, we've got mages, etc. And each of these classes are denoted by these symbols up here. But now we have to talk about the rerolls themselves, which UR we want to aim for when we hit this guy over here and which SSR if possible. Now guys, depending on if you were a CBT player or not, I think that is really going to effect like what you should be looking for. And so from this 100 reroll selective reroll summoning thing, there are actually only about four of the URs that are available. Those four include Aphelin, Tornel, Caledonia, and Akasha, I believe. And so really we want to be picking between these four. And so guys, here is as always the caveat. If you guys have a preferred character, a preferred waifu of like your own taste, then you go reroll for that one first because again, the game is always a little bit less fun if you don't have who you want to play with, if you know what I mean. However, between these four characters, Aphelin, Tornel, Akasha, Caledonia, let me just quickly introduce them. Aphelin and Caledonia are both tanks. Essentially, they, well, they're supposed to be tanking a lot of damage. However, the difference between them is, as you can see, one is blue and one is red. So that's Mercury and I'm sorry, I can't remember what the red is because in my opinion, Mercury is Master Race and that's probably everybody's opinion actually. And so that kind of already like is showing my bias, right? I'm essentially agreeing with Chloe and Lansfield. I'm saying that Aphelin is the tank to re roll for if you were picking between Aflin and Caledonia. On the other hand, Aflin versus Tornel versus Akasha. I would say that Aflin and Tornel, they're both very, very strong units as long as you kind of know how to build around them. However, if you do want an unga bunga, no brain kind of just like throw it at the like wall and it's going to stick, like it will stick, then I would highly recommend Aflin. We do call her pillow because she's just always holding a pillow. But in CBT, she steamrolled everything. As a tank, she did way too much AOE damage, but also was able to keep herself alive like crazy. However, this was only really apparent when it was getting towards mid game, which you can actually probably get to in like three or four days. And then after that, generally speaking, your Aphelin is going to be unkillable. And then so to talk about the SSRs, so the gold borders, we've got Maya Huel, Ushpia, Yui, and uh, a couple of the other ones, Lacrima, Akana. Unfortunately, I can't remember which one was available via like the 100 selective rerolls. However, what I will say is I have a massive bias towards Ushpia. For me, me, Ushpia was just utterly ridiculous. She dished out so much, so much damage. And not only that, but it was also AOE low cost damage. We also 
have the paralyzed status where she essentially is providing CC from a freaking DPS point of view. Me personally, and if you have seen any other tier lists, I am going to agree with pretty much all of them. The best target reroll is for your UR, you want Aphelin, and then for your SSR, you want Ushpia, this chick over here. And that is exactly what I took in CBT and certainly what I am going to be trying to take in this upcoming launch. Actually, it's already launched. And so on the other hand, we have a whole bunch of other different characters. We've got Amanami over here. She is a Conjurer. She was quite prominent in CBT. A lot of the time when she was combined with Aphelin, they were like pretty much unstoppable. However, guys, what we also have on launch is the launch banner, Muneer. And so just clicking into Muneer, oh my God, look at that. If there is anyone that I would re-roll for in terms of waifu status, that's like, that's it, my guys. But outside of aesthetic purposes, if we're talking more about in terms of kit, then you can see that Muneer, because of their Mercury element, she is going to be paired very well with Aphelin as well as Amanami. And so this takes me back to my point before, were you a CBT player? If you weren't a CBT player, what I would be doing personally is re-roll for Muneer with all of the pre-registration rewards or any other you are as a matter of fact. Like honestly, they are pretty much all good. So again, re-roll for any of the one URs and then try get Aphelin in the 100 selective. And so what that means is that you will be starting out with two URs, which is a very, very strong start. Some people argue that between like Aphelin and Tornell, you should re-roll for one of them and then get the other via the 100 selective. I would recommend trying to get Ushpia as well so that you don't have to use Muneer. Because as you can see, they are kind of contesting for the same role, but like... Muneer. Anyway, that is this tier list in a nutshell. I want to show you guys another one, uh, this one over here. And so this is the one that I was using during CBT. It's it's virtually identical to uh, the one that Chloe and Lancefield has provided us. There are a couple of very, very subtle differences, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty much the same. However, the useful thing about this one is that it does highlight the ones that are available at launch, but not in the selective summon. And so as you can see over here, we've got Ella, we've got Muneer, and then we've got Amanami. And so from like a perfect reroll, or like a maximum value point of view, you can certainly reroll for one of the green borders and then like pick up Aphelin. Again, if you weren't a CBT player, that's what I would be doing. However, as a CBT player myself and to all you CBT players out there, if you want a strong start, discard your CBT account and like do what I just said. Unfortunately for us CBT players, they hit us with the exclusive unit. As a collector, I just cannot give this up. And so what Yostar has told us is that if we want Lilia, we have to play through our CBT account. I actually don't know if you can re-roll and then bind to the CBT account. And then so you can definitely use the strategy that I just talked about and get Lilia on top of it. And so if anyone has tried that, do let me know. But uh, at this moment, it's looking like it's we re-roll for another UR or we get the exclusive Lilia. And so with that being said, I think that kind of covers off like the characters individually in terms of re-roll and tier list. And so guys, let's take a quick break to talk about our sponsor for the video, LD Player. LD Player is is a modern sleek emulator that will suit all of your mobile gaming needs. It's got features such as like multi-instancing, sync operations, high frame rate mode. That's probably my favorite because like sometimes it boosts the games to 120 FPS. For me personally, for CBT Revived Witch, I played it on LD Player. My experience was pretty flawless and so absolutely no problems there. And so if you guys are interested in not only supporting the channel but also trying the game out, then head on down to the description or the pinned comment below and click on the link. But otherwise, thank you to LD Player for the sponsorship and let's get get back to the content. And so the next thing I do want to talk about is a couple of different opinions. Because me personally, these opinions, they, they definitely reflect how I feel about it. However, guys, just do note that if you do use this method, it is going to take you 30 minutes per reroll. And so for a lot of people, it's not going to be worth it. And I completely respect that. And so massive shout out to WW Super Idol Elena. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. But essentially, she's going through three different options, right? Option one, Aflin plus Ushpia. You guys already know it. It is going to be the steam roll comp. If you guys just want an easy time, this is 100% the reroll to go for. However, this person has also put in a very, very similar disclaimer to me what I said before. Aflin is not auto-friendly until you have higher levels and about A3. So A3 is exactly the point that I was thinking when Aflin gets like super, super busted. Just like completely unkillable and dishing out an insane amount of damage. All right. And so moving on, we've got Tornell plus any DPS plus any tank. And so his opinion is that this is a more flexible and easier starter. 
And I do agree because if you're rerolling for a healer, then you actually can use any DPS in any tank. And if you have a look at the DPS list, you'll realize that it is actually quite flooded. Within the Mercury element, there are just so many freaking strong options. And then on top of that, you can pick any tank. So that's this one over here, the Guardians. And then just roll with them because your Tornell is just going to do the work for you. And so if you do decide to go with the Tornell pick, you just, you can actually pick any of this, right? You could go for a full yellow team. So Tornell and like Ella, Yui or whoever. You could go Tornell, try for the Aphelin and just pick up like Ashpia. Or you could actually run Tornell with the red team over here. So you got Selenia and Akasha. But if you do that, you probably should take a tank. Caledonia, I actually don't know about Caledonia as a red tank. However, there is another disclaimer here. More flexibility can also be a downside with insufficient knowledge. I completely agree because if you don't know what you are doing, then you're going to be running a very, very inoptimal comp. And so the last thing I want to point out for this option is Elena, aka the witch. Honestly, guys, the witch is not only like ultra, ultra waifu, but she is actually quite strong and she keeps scaling and scaling and scaling. And so unfortunately, we've not had the time to talk about her, but she is essentially her own type. So what that means is that she does not fall under any of these. She is her own like seventh element. But anyway, guys, we have talked about this option enough. And so let's have a look at option three, which I certainly would not recommend. So in a nutshell, it is saying physical team. When we have a look at option one, Aphelin, Ushpia, that is most certainly your magic team. And unfortunately, magic is just so prevalent in the early game, even all the way to the end game, that it is just quite hard to recommend a physical team. But guys, if you are fans of Akasha, Selenia, or even just like physical in general, then yeah, here is your guidance. It is going to work, but I don't know how well it's going to work. And so lastly, we have this piece of opinion about Caledonia. So th there's a reason why she is is a in terms of like the tanks. Not only because Aphelin is completely broken, but there are, I guess, some issues in terms of like her kit. And so he goes on to say, Caledonia is a strange defender. She only really functions in a physical team, but at the same time, assassins don't synergize well with her. On top of that, she also takes kind of like a untraditional method of tanking, well, for the game anyway. But unfortunately, it's just a little bit tough in terms of like trying to find synergies with her. If you guys do want to be cheeky, or if you are really like into Caledonia, don't let me stop you guys you guys go for it man but if you guys are looking to meta slave I really can't like suggest anything except for the Aphelin plus Ashfia. I just had the easiest time, easiest time in CBT with this combination. All right, and so the last opinion piece that I do want to show you guys is from SB Dead. And so essentially this is kind of like your quick 101 uh, beginner's guide to team building, which is again, generally going to be your mage team. This is essentially what your setup is going to look like. For the best case, best case scenario, you're going to be going Aphelin, Tornell, and Muneer. In my opinion, however, I think that Amanami is pretty freaking cracked and and it certainly can replace the Tornell. But honestly, looking at all three of these ones, they are all suitable replacements. And then so down here, instead of Muneer, we could also go Ashpia as well as Mayaville. But then for the CBT players, we also have the option of Lilia. I think that's a great summary. This is pretty much your team comp. It's gonna be Aphelin or your tank, but Aphelin really is the only answer. And then you've got a support or healer. Generally, it's gonna be your healer or your compeller class. So compellers are kind of cracked up healers, right? They kind of heal, but also do other things. And so that's kind of why I do prefer like the Akana or the Amanami. I just personally think that compellers, they're, they're pretty spicy and like makes the game a bit more interesting. And then lastly, we have the magical damage dealer. There are just so many options, like I said before. All right, guys, I think that was like comprehensive enough. That was quite a lot of content. Hopefully you guys will know what to reroll for if you can be bothered. But honestly, I cannot blame a single person if you're like, okay, I'm just going to get Aphelin and Ashpia and then call it a day. I personally truly think that you can go from the start to the end of the game with just Aphelin, Ashpia and like another compeller or healer because I personally did it with Aphelin, Ashpia, and Arcana, this one down here. And honestly, before I got Arcana, I was using Mikoto, which is a, apparently a C-class uh, healer or compeller. And so guys, I just cannot recommend enough. You need to go for the Mercury. You need to go for the Aphelin and the Ashpia if you want to meta slave and just be cushy in general. All right, lads, we're going to wrap it up over here. And so I do want to ask you guys, are you guys going to meta slave? Will you guys take my advice? Because I want to say have a look at some of the art. You might find a lot more like than what you signed up for. There are just like so many fine characters that I just don't have enough time for. And so you guys let me know what you are gonna reroll for or what did you end up with if you already have rerolled. And if you guys would drop your thoughts or what you guys did down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so for that, thank you guys so much. But otherwise, if this video has helped you, please consider a like. And if you have not subbed yet, then please sub. But otherwise, as this trap of a character called Lilia once said, and she's trapping me not because she's a dude, but because she's exclusive. She told me, true story guys, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.
，拜拜。